a cruero tarsal joint is one theta euro unregistered trademark as situated between the bones of crass, that is shin and the proximal tarsal bones, that is astragalus and calcaneum. The ankle joint of therian mammals is a cruero tarsal joint, with the main joint of ankle bending between the tibia and the astragalus. The calcaneum has no contact with the tibia but forms a heel to which muscles can attach. A group of arcosauriform diapsids, Crurotarsi is named after specialized crurotarsal joint in the skeletons of the members of this group, located between their fibula and calcaneum, with a hemicylindrical condyle on the calcaneum articulating against fibula. This joint is present in the skeletons of Suchians and phytosaurs, and was cited as one of the characters supporting uniting these two groups in a clade to the exclusion of Avamitatarsalian arcosaurs. However, According to a study published in 2011, Suchians are more closely related to Avametatarsia than to Phytosaurs. There is, however, not enough information to find out whether the aforementioned crurotarsal joint evolved independently in Suchians and in Phytosaurs, or whether it was already present in the skeleton of their most recent common ancestor. The ankle joint of Pseudosuchians and Phytosaurs, passing between the astragalus and calcaneum, is also called crurotarsal joint in the literature. In the skeletons of the phytosaurs and most of the pseudosuchians this joint bends around a peg on the astragalus which fits into a socket in the calcaneum. Only in the skeletons of the ornithosuchid pseudosuchians a peg on the calcaneum fits into a socket in the astragalus. Strictly speaking this ankle is a euro unregistered trademark TA crurotarsal joint in the previously discussed sense as it's situated between the two proximal tarsal bones. However, while calcaneum is a euro unregistered trademark T fixed to the fibula, the astragalus is fixed to the tibia by a suture and thus in practice it functions as an extension of the cross. References <laughs>